it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe because I make new videos every week. Today's video is, as you can tell by the title, about pregnancy. I am currently, as of last Thursday, 14 weeks pregnant. So I figured it was time to do a little update since I'm in the second trimester finally. Um, I'm going to kind of just talk about the changes and what I've been feeling different and I'm going to do a little bump update. So I am 14 weeks and my little baby has definitely made themselves known this week. Um, I will insert a picture right here if I can figure out how. Um, I am getting a significant little bump going on. It really just feels like I'm bloated 24-7. And it just gets worse every time I eat. I don't know. <laughs> Although I am getting a little bigger, um, I am keeping up with my exercise. So I go on a very, you know, fairly lengthy and vigorous uh, bike ride every morning. It's about six to eight miles and we mostly go up and down hills. So it's very challenging. So that is what I'm doing to keep up with exercise right now. Unfortunately, I am not lifting weights right now, which is very strange for me. Um, we actually just moved, as you can tell, my background is a little different. I'm going to do a whole video about that as well, but we did just move and it was kind of unexpected and it was really abrupt. We literally decided we were moving one day and we moved that day. It was, it's very confusing, I know it sounds very confusing, but I will make a video about it. So since we just moved, we have not yet had time to move our weight equipment over here with us, but that will be coming in the near future. So once we get it over here, I'll be able to lift regularly again. Um, but right now I'm just kind of taking this a little rest period, you know, every now and then you need to take, you know, a little bit of time off of weights. It's good for your body. So we're just keeping up with our cardio by doing our bike rides and going on walks when it is not a hundred degrees outside like it is now. Um, but since I am keeping up with some exercise, I have not gained any weight. I am actually a pound under my pre-pregnancy weight right now, which is kind of weird. I kind of expected to gain weight pretty rapidly. Um, but I have not put on any. I kind of put on a little weight right before I got pregnant, which isn't good. So I'm trying to lose. I'm trying not to gain that much while pregnant because I knew, I know I did have a little extra weight there right before I was pregnant. So I am actually trying to lose a little before I start gaining. So I have lost a pound so far, which is pretty good. Talk about cravings because that has been a very, very, very significant change since the first trimester. So I actually just went to the store and got all the foods I have been craving for the past week. So I'm just, just give me a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all that. I think I might actually have an actual problem. <laughs> first thing is chocolate. So I've been eating chocolate donuts a lot lately. So I decided to switch it up a little bit and I got this little chocolate cake, just individual cake. It's very small. I'll probably eat it in two settings. I'll cut it in half, eat it and half eat the other half but yeah i got this to cure my little chocolate fix i also was craving cheesecake so i got a little individual thing of cheesecake i didn't get the whole cake because i knew i would eat the whole thing so i got it's a little individual pack with two slices so chris will have one and i'll have one that way i'm not eating a whole thing i got a bag of sour patch kids because i've never liked sour patch kids until i was pregnant so they're all i want now these little roll things um as you can tell there's a lot of them but I also got these for Chris, so they're not all for me. At least that's what I'm telling myself. And last but not least is I have been craving donuts so, so bad. So, so bad. Um, every time I go to Walmart now, I get like a dozen donuts. It's actually kind of a problem. <laughs> so I know that looks a little crazy. Trust me, it's like $15 worth of dessert food. But I usually let myself have, you know, something I'm craving for dessert every night. Just something I do to keep myself sane. Um, but I don't go crazy. Like, I don't eat a whole dozen of donuts every single night. I eat, like, one or two donuts a night. It's no big deal. It's fine. Everything's fine. But on top of that, I do eat healthy all, you know, throughout the entire day. I eat a lot of chicken, rice, sweet potatoes, beans, vegetables, stuff like that. So I do eat very healthy. And like I said, I exercise. So I allow myself to have a little dessert every now and then to make up for the cravings that the baby wants. It's only fair. Also on top of eating healthy, I do make sure to drink tons and tons of water. Also, since the second trimester has been so amazing to me, I just want to give it its glory for a second. Since I have entered the second trimester, which I'm going to refer to as my sanctuary from now on, I have not been nauseous. I have not been having morning sickness. I have not been tired as much. I have been feeling on top of the world lately, like nothing can bring me down and 
I just, I feel like I'm a new person, <laughs> almost. I feel like I have this like energy ball in me that like never dies. <laughs> now I will say that I do get tired that doesn't make okay so in the first trimester I was tired 24 7 I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning I didn't want to lift weights I didn't want to ride my bike I didn't want to do anything I just wanted to lay in bed I, that's all I wanted to do but now I wake up I feel good I feel rested I feel like I had enough sleep finally even though I get up every two hours to pee it's still fine but I just I feel like I have this energy that I've never had before um, so that's been a plus to the you know second trimester and not being nauseous 24 7 is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me also since I have been in the second trimester I have allowed myself to drink coffee if you know me you know I am a coffee aholic I used to drink coffee throughout the entire day like I'm not even joking probably like eight glasses of coffee throughout the day it was a problem but I did not drink any for the first trimester at all not because you're not allowed to drink coffee you're allowed to have one 10 ounce cup of coffee while you're pregnant but I didn't want any extra stress or anything like that added to my body because the first trimester your fetus is still very very vulnerable in miscarriages uh, the percentages are more higher in the first trimester so I wanted to keep my body stress-free I didn't want anything to raise my blood pressure or um, speed up my heart rate or anything like that because I didn't want to strain the baby any more than you know day-to-day -day life does we're on the stress topic is the first trimester I was very 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 emotional I cried all the time ask Chris <laughs> and I was just not myself and since I've been in the second trimester I my I still cry every now and then because you know stuff just gets to me but I don't cry nearly as much I'm not nearly as emotional but I will say I do get stressed out far more quickly than I did pre-pregnancy I get very very stressed about little things um, which is not good so I tend to you know just ignore everything but I will say I do get stressed a lot easier now which is unfortunate because I like to live a stress-free life but that's just something I guess I have to deal with right now so basically since the second trimester has started I've got more energy I'm less emotional I've developed the cutest little baby bump I crave a lot of sweets which is unfortunate but you know and I felt more like myself so I'm going to end this update on a positive note as you know if you're going through the first trimester right now it is not the end I promise it gets better second trimester I feel great so that's all for this video today guys. I'm going to let you all go. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on social media down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.